Hello everyone and welcome back. This is week four, match one of the TNA Impact Wrestling side of the Giant Universe Mode series. And the first match here on the cards is Abyss versus RVD. So let's see who I will be in the match. So it's out of Abyss and RVD obviously and I am going to be RVD. Okay. And his attire will be original. Alright. Against Abyss in his asylum attire. Great, great, great. So, uh, yeah, I think this match happened last week. I don't know, it's been a while since I've recorded any of this. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I think this will be the same match as last week, but I don't know. Um, but if it is, then yeah. But if it's not, then okay. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, this is the matchup screen now, and I will cut to the match. And there's Gil Kim coming to the ring. Okay, who's... Oh, she's going to announce, I think. She's sitting on the floor by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, what a way to, to start the cutscene, I guess. Um, random. But anyway, we are in the match now. RVD, Abyss would be a good match, but since Abyss is all caught up in this Bully Ray thing, probably won't happen for a while. Is Abyss in this um, whole like uh, leaderboard thing where the guy shot the championship at the pay-per-view? I don't think he is, but I'm not sure he could be, but I, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I, I've just seen this week's TNA, and actually it might be next week's by the time I put out this video, I'm not sure. But, uh, last week's TNA even, but um, yeah, Christopher Park, no, Joseph Park, called out Bully Ray, and he wants a match, and I was actually quite shocked with this, it seems a bit weird for him to do this. Um, I mean... You know, he's really wanting a match against Bully Ray for whatever reason. I don't know why. He's apparently standing up to bullies and everything now, which, fair enough, okay, good on you. But at the same time, it's like, well, you can't wrestle not as Abyss, so why are you doing this? Um... Unless he's finally going to reveal that he is Abyss, but then that would be a bit weird because they try to convince all the fans that Abyss was a separate person and they had him come out in the pay-per-view, like a different person come out, so I don't know. It could be a bit awkward, I guess, especially if they make Abyss come out of the ring again during that match or whatever in two weeks' time. But um, right now, it, it just seems like that match is gonna happen. I would hope they would make Abyss, well, an imposter Abyss come out just so that the storyline looks more legit, but at the same time, you know, it's like what what really can happen if he comes out? I mean, it would be cool to see him out, but it would just make all the people who are who know it's it's not him just be like oh god what's he doing out again and then you know I don't know I don't think this storyline works too well I mean it, it was good to begin with but right now with with Joseph Park still wanting matches and everything I think he should have left after the pay-per-view and then just had Abyss come back and beat up Bully Ray for a while and so on but instead they've made it so that they're both separate characters that are on the show and it's just, ah. Uh, shouldn't have done that, in my personal opinion. I think they should have, should have ditched the Joseph Parks character so that he can go back to being a lawyer or whatever he does. I can't remember, I think that's right. But, um, hmm, I, I don't really know what, the, what they're planning to do with them, really. I'm going for the the pin here. One, two, three. Oh wow, one. Okay. Uh, quick match. I'm surprised. Gail Kim didn't even do anything on the announce desk. Um, but there will most likely be a cutscene with her at the end. Is there? 
well, there is there is a cutscene because they can't skip the rematch menu, so we will see. Probably something to do with Gail Kim. Didn't she come out for one of Christopher Daniels matches uh, a week or two back? Uh, it makes it's a bit weird. Why would she come out for an RVD Abyss match? It doesn't make any sense. But RVD leaving the ring, so maybe it's got something to do with Gail Kim and Abyss. Or maybe it's just a bad cutscene and that'll warp him back to the ring. We will soon see. So that's gonna happen. Gil Kim going in the ring for Abyss. I don't understand. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Low blow by Gil Kim <laughs> to Abyss. <laughs> what? Random. I don't understand. But anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe above if you would like to see more. Uh, check out Unknown Logic 11, his link will be in the description for the WWE half of the videos. And other than that, I will see you next time with match 2.